For the sake of both comfort and warmth, sleeping pads are crucial to getting a good night's rest in the backcountry. But how do you know which one's right for you? Let's talk about how to choose backpacking sleeping pads. When choosing a sleeping pad, there are three main factors that you'll want to consider. And those are comfort, weight, and insulation. Comfort generally comes from thicker, cushier sleeping pads, but you can gauge this by trying out a couple. You can do that at your local REI. Weight is pretty self-explanatory, which leads us to insulation. Most manufacturers will use a number called an R value to gauge how well their pads resist heat transfer from your body into the ground. The higher the R value, the more insulation the sleeping pad provides. A sleeping pad is a crucial part of your sleep system, and your sleeping bag alone won't provide enough warmth without a proper sleeping pad. So the first type of pad we're going to talk about are air pads. These are pretty self-explanatory. You blow air into them either with your mouth or with a lightweight pump, and then that's your mattress for the night. These are very thick and comfortable while still being lightweight, and most of them are packable, about to the size of a water bottle. They also come in a wide range of insulation options. So just as an example, this pad here has an R value of under one, so it's truly a summer weight sleeping pad. And then this one has an R value of 5.7, so it's great for winter camping. AirPods provide insulation by having extra layers in between the exterior. So that might be an insulation layer and or some sort of reflective layer. You can also adjust the firmness on an AirPod by allowing some air out of the valve. Like I said, these pads are lightweight and compact, which comes with an automatic increase in price. You'll also need to keep an eye out for sticks or other sharp objects as they are easy to puncture. But most air pads will come with a lightweight patch kit and they're very easy to repair in the field. Some material on air pads can also be crinkly, so that's something to take a listen for if you are a light sleeper. Also, side sleepers sometimes find these to be not as comfortable because their hips will touch the ground. These are a great option for backpackers that are looking to minimize weight while maximizing comfort and packability on the trail. Uh, and most lightweight backpackers will choose to use an air pad. I have an air pad and I love it. Self-inflating pads use an open cell foam to provide structure as well as insulation. I have a cutaway piece here of what a self-inflating pad looks like. And you can see that if you were to store this, you'd roll it up and that will compress all the air out. But then if you were to open the valve, this sucks all the air back in and the pad self inflates. Generally speaking, you'll probably have to blow some air into this to get it to its maximum comfort level, but they're pretty hassle free. Self inflating pads are comfortable and they provide a lot of insulation. They're also a really good choice for people who want something kind of a middle of the road in terms of cost. And they're really comfortable for certain types of sleepers such as side sleepers. These are a bit bulkier and they're heavier than their air pad counterparts. And they are prone to getting punctures just like air pads. Again, they're very easy to repair in the field. These are a great choice for backpackers who are looking for a little bit of extra comfort and don't mind the slight add in bulk and weight. The last type of pad we're going to talk about are closed cell foam pads. These are the large rolled or folded pads that you see strapped to the exterior of people's packs. These use a dense foam that doesn't need to be inflated and therefore can't be popped uh, or really destroyed at all. You can see that this pad here has taken quite a lot of use and abuse and obviously they still work just fine. These are lightweight, they're inexpensive, and they're basically indestructible and I like that you can use them as a sit pad at camp. They aren't, however, the most comfortable of pads, um, and they are pretty bulky, so you will need to strap them to the exterior of your pack to carry them. These are a popular choice for ultralight backpackers or through hikers for their ease of use and their durability. And then some people will also use them in conjunction with another type of pad to add some warmth as well as comfort. Some sleeping pads also have a women's specific version and there are more differences beyond just the color. And that's demonstrated here with these two. This orange pad is a unisex pad and you can see where all the dots are. Those represent holes that are punched out of the foam to cut down on weight. Because women tend to need more insulation in their core and at their feet, this women's version of the pad has fewer holes cut out at the torso and at the feet. 
Women's specific pads also have a slightly different shape than unisex pads and they tend to be shorter, so they're a good choice for shorter backpackers as well. If you want some more information on how to choose gear or anything else about backpacking, check out our videos and please subscribe below. We'll see you guys out there. Hey everyone, Kai here with you from XBED, and today let's talk about Mega Mat Max. If you're watching this video, you probably know we make a sleeping mat called Mega Mat, our famous Mega Mat. The idea with Mega Mat was to build a mat that is as close to your bed at home as you can get and still take it out into the outdoors. You may also know we're a Swiss company and we like to say that being Swiss means that we like to tinker to perfection. So that's what we've done here. Mega Mat Max takes everything we've done with Mega Mat and adds two inches of thickness to that. One of the great advantages to that extra two inches of thickness for many people is that you can soft inflate this mat and not bottom out. It works beautifully, um, and several features about the original Mega Mat make that really work well. One of which is the top surface is stretch uh, brushed Trico uh, material, which is allowing you during that soft inflation to just sink into the mat. Another important element there is the open cell foam we use as insulation and support. That open cell foam has had cores drilled out of it, so it allows that cradling effect really well. So in concert, those things work beautifully. Another important feature borrowed from the original Mega Mat are the vertical sidewalls that you see here. Vertical sidewalls are important here because it allows the top surface to go right to the edge with no tapering, just like your bed at home. So all of those things add up to an amazingly comfortable sleep experience. Very, very much like your bed at home and probably better than your bed at home. Another important thing is inflation and deflation. Deflation is achieved through uh, the high volume oversized deflation valve Inflation is done through this one, and the inflation valve has two primary purposes. One, of course, is inflation, and that is simply open the valve and uh, allow air to flow in for self-inflation, and then topping off the mat with the mini pump that we talked about earlier. But a second function of the inflate valve is uh, adjusting firmness in the middle of the night. If you find your mat is too firm in the middle of the night, simply open the valve, reach down, open the valve, grasp the pin that's attached, and you can see right in here the green flapper valve, one-way valve. Touch the pin to the valve. You can hear I'm letting some air out of the mat until I achieve my desired firmness, and then simply close the valve. Make sure you watch our video about inflating and deflating Mega Mats. Everything that you see in that video applies to Mega Mat Max. Mega Mat Max, when you get it, comes with a handy little how-to uh, instruction sheet for inflating the mat the first time because it's been rolled for a while on its way to you and it also uh, comes with instructions about uh, about inflating the mat every other time you're going to use it. We worked really hard on this please read it over it'll help you. Mega Mat Max comes with our mini pump which allows you to top off uh, Mega Mat Max uh, after it has self inflated. You'll see that uh, in use in the video. Also, Mega Mat Max comes with a pretty cool stuff sack, our Sidewinder stuff sack. It's a 
top loading stuff sack, roll tops, top loading stuff sack. So even if you're like me and you're kind of sloppy in your, in your uh, rolling of your mat, it will still easily go in the stuff sack. The stuff sack accommodates the mat um, and you won't have to fight it. It also has a nice feature uh, as a, in a shoulder strap to carry it to camp. And lastly, we do Mega Mat Max in two sizes. A duo mat in our largest format, our largest size duo mat, two-person mat that you see here, and our largest size in the solo sleeping mat. That's Mega Mat Max. You will sleep well. We'll see you out there. Cheers. Hey everybody, Josh with XBED here, and in this video we want to talk about some of the differences between the Mega Mat and the Mega Mat Lite. Now the Mega Mat is a product that's been in the range for a long time, and the original intent for this was to be able to take that sleeping experience that you enjoy at home, that bed-like comfort, and be able to take it with you into the backcountry. Take it uh, anywhere you like, and super comfortable, great mat. Um, so knowing that, we've introduced a product called the Mega Mat Lite. When you look at the two mats, they're actually very, very similar visually. Uh, the same profile, they can come in the same sizes, the materials they use are exactly the same on the outside. They both have this uh, stretch Trico nylon mesh that feels really nice to the skin, really nice and soft. Um, so tactically, they're actually identical. The difference between the two really comes down to what they're filled with. One has an open cell foam on the inside, and one has a, a synthetic insulation on the inside. What difference does that make, you ask? Really, it comes down to comfort versus packability. The Mega Mat, which is this one here, when you pack it down, that's the size it takes. So, it's still actually quite packable for a foam mat, and you get to take all that comfort with you. Compared to the Mega Mat Lite, however, you can see there's a pretty big difference in terms of pack size between the two. By not having the foam inside the Mega Mat Lite, it allows us to create a lot more space on the inside for packability, and Really, the difference between these two mats comes down to you as a user. If you want the most comfortable mat in the range, uh, the, the most luxurious sleep that we have, that's going to be the Mega Mat, which is this guy right here. If you want almost identical comfort, but something that's a lot more packable, then Mega Mat Lite is definitely the mat for you. It allows you to take it on a backpacking trip, potentially. I mean, again, this mat's actually smaller than some of the things that were considered backpacking mats not that long ago you know, kayak trip, any, any kind of trip where you need that pack size and that additional space or spaces at a premium, um, then Mega Mat Lite's a better option. So really it's just comfort versus packability. Either way, you're going to sleep really well. Um, you probably wouldn't even really be able to tell that much of a difference sleeping on them. <laughs> um, it just comes down to what you need it for. So again, that's Mega Mat and Mega Mat Lite. Either way, you're going to sleep really well. So thanks a lot. Hey folks, Ted here today with XBED and the XBED Mega Mat, and we're going to walk you through inflation, deflation, and some storage tips so you know how this thing works. Mega Mat is supremely comfortable. It's a classic example of Swiss design, constant tinkering to perfection, and the first thing for the Mega Mat is the new Sidewinder stuff sack that allows me to go ahead and pull the whole mat out of the side, like so. Mat comes with a mat, a Sidewinder stuff sack, a mini pump, and there's a repair kit in the stash pocket on the side. I'm going to put those off to the side. When I go to actually inflating the mat, the best way to do that is to open it up. See the two flat valves, inflate and deflate. I'm going to go ahead and open up the inflate valve, and I'm going to just take the mat and unroll it off the side. And now I'm just going to let it sit here for about 15 minutes or so. I'm going to go set up the rest of the camp, and I'll come back and top it off in just a minute. See you then.
Well, camp's all set up, and it's been about, oh, 10, 11 ish minutes or so. And as you can see, the, the open cell foam that's on the inside of here, the memory foam, if you will, has regained some of its memory and drawn air into the inside of the mat. And depending upon your conditions, it'll draw in a little bit faster, or a little bit slower, depending upon the way you stored it, the way that you had it contained on the way up in, in the trip. In any case, at this particular point, it's not quite firm enough for me to want to sleep on it without topping it off. And that's why I have the mini pump. And here's what we're going to do. We're just going to take the mini pump, put it on the inflate valve like so. Just lock that right on. Going to hold on to the mini pump. And I'm just going to go ahead and top it off. And you can see that just kind of finishes off the last little bit. It's pretty easy. By the way, when it comes to storing the mat, I recommend going ahead and leaving the mat fully inflated. Open up the valves and sliding it underneath the bed or standing it up behind a door in a closet or something like that. And that'll get you set up for your next trip and it'll inflate even faster in that case. So at this point, we are topped off. Pull the mini pump off, close the flat valve, and we're set to go. Good night's sleep. By the way, in the middle of the night, if you want to soften this, I like to inflate it firm at first, but if you want to soften it so you have a little bit more contour, you can open up the inflate valve and just go ahead and push in the green flapper on the inside right here, and that'll just burp the air right on out of the mat. Now that I've done that, I have to go ahead and, <laughs> go ahead and reinflate that just a little bit more. Put the air back in there because I like it to be nice and firm. Pop that off, lock it down, and we are set to go for a good night. Now, after everything's all set up and put away, I have to break camp at some point, and that means deflating that. So I'm going to go ahead and reverse this process so you can see how that's done. Inflate valve, deflate valve. The first thing you do is open up the deflate valve, and you can hear the air go rushing right on out of the mat that way. <clears throat> My preference is not to wrestle the mat. An Omega mat holds a lot of air, and to get it out fast and efficient, I take the mat fold it over three times, and then just use body weight to squeeze all of the air out of the mat. I could go ahead and wrestle it if I wanted to, but no reason to be in a hurry in this process. Just let your body weight push the air out of the mat. When it stops bleeding air out of it, then you go ahead, open it up and then just start rolling. And I always like to use my knee in the middle of it. Just wrap it up. By the way, I forgot to mention in the inflation process that when you're using the mini pump, this guy right here, you can use the palm of your hand to inflate it up or you can also use your foot. Either way, it works really easy. Squeeze the last little bit of air out of the mat. Go ahead and close the deflate valve. Lock that on. Take the Sidewinder stuff sack. And then just drop this in. The beauty of the Sidewinder stuff sack is that if I was really sloppy about the rolling process, I had a lot of extra roll in that. It loads in here really nice and easily. Take the mini pump, shove it in the side pocket. Just take the Sidewinder stuff sack, roll it down, and lock off the strap so I have a nice shoulder strap. We're all set to go. We'll see you out on the next trip.
At Nemo, we never bring anything to market that doesn't create a better adventure experience. Everything we make is designed to keep you warmer, drier, and more comfortable than what's already out there. When you're looking for a luxury go-anywhere mattress that sets up faster, packs down smaller, and ensures a comfortable and restful night under the stars, Roamer is proof that camping out doesn't mean you have to rough it. Despite offering four inches of luxury plushness, Roamer is lighter and packs down well below the size of the competition. Updated with innovative internal air channels, our new flow core construction significantly increases airflow into the pad for an industry-leading inflation speed. Unpack Roamer and watch it self-inflate in seconds with flow core's high volume air channels. Equipped with Lalo, our zero profile micro adjustable valve, Roamer features the ability to tune your pad for personalized comfort. Topped with a premium 50D stretch fabric, Roamer is super cozy and silky soft. And backed with an ultra durable 75D polyester, will confidently turn bumpy surfaces like tree roots or the ridge bottom of a truck bed into a comfy, level, sleep at home feeling camp bed. Keeping sustainability our priority, both fabrics are made of 100% post-consumer recycled and Blue Sign certified fabrics, so you can choose with confidence. Spend a night on Roamer and you'll discover a pad that was designed for unparalleled plushness and warmth, even on the coldest surfaces with an ASTM standard R value of 6.0. When it's time to pack up, Flowcore's high volume air channels combined with a one-way dump valve for the fastest deflation and the easiest pack-up for a pad in this category. And with our unique dual access coring, Roamer's smaller pack size and reduced weight allows you to take this luxury pad further into the wild. Offered in two sizes, Roamer XL Wide boasts 78 inches long by 30 inches wide, and multiple pads can be quickly toggled together to form a queen size mattress or larger. Roamer Double is generously sized at 52 inches wide to accommodate two happy campers and features a conveniently sized duffel bag for an easy pack up. For those looking for the ultimate and luxury sleep that goes with the flow, from car camping to floor surfing, Roamer Series stands apart as our plushest sleeping pad yet. And like all Nemo products, your pad comes with a lifetime warranty, so it will last with you through years of adventures. The Thermarest product development team has led innovation in outdoor sleep comfort since 1972. Neoware technology is a result of Thermarest's product development expertise and over seven years of focused product development. The mattress that was built changed the standard for backcountry comfort. Since they were introduced in 2009, Neoware mattresses have earned more than 12 Best Product Awards, including two Backpacker Editor's Choice Awards and four Guide's Choice Awards from the American Alpine Institute. Neoware mattresses use patent-pending technology to create a high degree of warmth without the weight or bulk of conventional insulation. Each Neoware mattress is composed of more than 100 individual cells. This patent-pending design, called Triangular Core Matrix, traps warm air very effectively. The walls also make your mattress stable and supportive. Neoware mattresses have baffles that are placed horizontally across the width of the mattress. Thermarest engineers chose this form of construction because it is comfortable, stable, and it reduces the tendency to bounce when you move around on your mattress. Most Neoware mattresses have patent-pending reflective barriers that reflect your body heat back to you, decreasing convective heat loss and improving the efficiency of the insulating cells. These barriers are the lightest, most efficient way to build a warm mattress. The insulating materials in your Neoware mattress will not absorb moisture or degrade over time like conventional forms of insulation. Your Neoware mattress can be inflated by blowing directly into the valve or by using a Thermarest pump sack designed to help with inflation. Once inflated, you can easily adjust the firmness of your mattress using the valve. Building on the success of the original, award-winning Neoware mattress, we developed a complete line of mattresses using Neoware technology. 
Every model is lightweight, comfortable, and very compact. The X-Lite mattress is an ultralight, extremely packable mattress that weighs less than one pound. It's designed for backpackers who prioritize saving weight and space above all. Our X-Therm mattress is a four-season mattress that offers a high degree of warmth in cold conditions. It's ideal for lightweight backcountry travel in very cold conditions. The Neoair Trekker mattress is a compact, durable mattress that's intended for use in warmer temperature. The Trekker is best for backpackers and through hikers who want comfort in rugged design. The Neoair All Season offers warmth and durability in a lightweight package that's great for everything from midsummer backpacking to winter mountaineering. The patent pending technology found in Thermarest mattresses allows the Neoair product line to offer unmatched backcountry performance for any activity. No matter what adventure you choose, Neoware mattresses offer the highest standard in comfort and lightweight compact performance. Thermarest Neoware mattresses are manufactured in the USA at our Seattle factory and in our European factory in Cork, Ireland. Visit Thermarest.com to learn more about Neoware mattresses and find a retailer near you.